Welcome to our channel. Don't forget to subscribe and put likes, because your support is important for us. And here we go. The deployment of South Korea's indigenous Korean tactical surface-to-surface -surface missile I, KTSSMI, bunker buster missiles marks a significant development in the country's defense strategy, particularly in response to the evolving threat posed by North Korea. With the KTSSMI designed to penetrate deep underground to neutralize hidden military installations, South Korea is demonstrating its commitment to enhancing its defensive capabilities and safeguarding national security. The KTSSMIS unveiling at the ADEX 2017 Defense Exhibition underscores South Korea's proactive approach to addressing emerging security challenges, particularly in light of past incidents such as the shelling of Yeonpyeong Island in 2010. By focusing on precision strikes against North Korean artillery concealed in mountainous regions and caves, South Korea is effectively countering potential threats emanating from its northern neighbor. The KTSSMIS operational characteristics, including its range of 180 km and caliber of 400 mm, highlight its suitability for targeted strikes against subterranean targets. This deployment aligns with South Korea's broader strategy to advance its missile technology, exemplified by ongoing efforts to develop KTSSM-2 and KTSSM-3 variants with enhanced capabilities and extended range. Furthermore, South Korea's Defense Ministry Policy Report underscores additional measures aimed at bolstering the nation's defense posture against North Korean provocations. The completion of a long-range surface-to-air missile system within the year reflects South Korea's commitment to establishing a multi-layered missile defense shield to counter potential missile and artillery threats from the North. Collaborative efforts with the United States, such as joint tabletop exercises simulating scenarios involving North Korean nuclear use, underscore the strength of the alliance and the shared commitment to regional peace and stability. Additionally, the establishment of a strategic command dedicated to deterring North Korean threats highlights South Korea's proactive stance in addressing complex security challenges. The successful launch of an upgraded KTSSMI variant has garnered international attention, with countries like Saudi Arabia and the United Arab Emirates expressing interest in potential acquisitions. This reflects South Korea's growing influence as a defense technology exporter and underscores the global demand for advanced missile systems developed by South Korean defense industries. In adapting its military doctrine to prioritize precision strikes, South Korea is effectively responding to the evolving threat landscape posed by North Korea. The Kill Chain and Korea Massive Punishment and Retaliation KMPR, operational concepts underscore South Korea's comprehensive approach to preemptive and retaliatory measures against potential threats from the North. Moreover, the development of the Korea Air and Missile Defense KAMD, architecture underscores South Korea's commitment to protecting its military assets and minimizing civilian casualties in the event of conflict. These advanced defensive capabilities could also serve as a deterrent against potential aggression from other regional actors, including China, highlighting South Korea's proactive approach to ensuring sovereignty and security amidst geopolitical uncertainties. That's all for now, see you later.